some old photos. And I wanted to start from the beginning. And well, of course, it's Mikael who knows the best. For example, about this one, I think this guy's name is Stefan. Yeah. And this place is uh, Soros. So, yeah, it's, it's almost in the same spot where we shot the back, the first record, Orchid, the back, on the back side of the city, we're standing like silhouettes. It's in the same spot, basically. Most of the photo. Oh, and right. I think you also <laughs> came back uh, for many other photo sessions. Yeah, we did watershed photo session there. Damnation. We did deliverance damnation there, yes. Okay, and also this one is mm -hmm. circling. It's I know going where around that is. The, where is this? It's at the borderline mm -hmm. in London. We had played a show there with a band called Gomorrah. I think we have the flyer on the book. Yeah, and uh, I had leather pants, I think. Maybe mm -hmm. I don't know. But uh, I the, me the medallion no, no, you have say. on your. Uh, the belt buckle. Yeah, the, yes. Is the same yeah, that yeah. You, you wore in back in 1996? Yeah. I bought this in during that trip, I think. That, that belt was not as cool as this one. I bought it in Camden during, during that trip. Yeah. Okay. Still have yeah, and we have another funny one. <laughs> this one. Right. And uh, I, I think you wrote somewhere that this is from a Century Media photo session that was uh, not used. They didn't want to use it. They thought they were shit. I thought we had a good idea here, but uh, Johan didn't want to have a suit. He looked more like he's in a winger. Okay. <laughs> and and we, uh, we had, I had rented a tuxedo, and they had the, the, the suit. Also the hat. The hat, yes, and white gloves. Okay. Yeah. The white gloves. White gloves, yeah. So I wanted us to look like an old, old family type uh, brothers or something, you know, from like the 17th century or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, well, that was maybe the period between Orchid and Morning Rise. Yes, we did it for uh, a Celtic, uh, uh, Celtic Frost cover up. And okay, they wanted yeah. the picture, so we took that picture, but they hated it. So this is a big almost undistinguishable or something like that but I, I know think where that is that's our first show ah. together. I can see because of the guitar this is you right unleashed uh, t-shirt yeah it looks like Anders didn't really dress up for the death metal show <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna ask is that the sound check no it's, that's the show and I was standing with my back towards the crowd because he didn't know the song so well that's the oh. show you you said uh, it was uh, maybe the most horrible one for them it wasn't a good. witness it was not a good show we did improvised grind core mm. but it was the only show uh, uh, with this particular lineup Nick he was in my first band eruption he was mm. over for a few days and David would be here somewhere or maybe he's run off stage well I got this uh, directly from him yeah I don't think he took the picture because he, he was probably singing. Well, you never know. He might because he ran off stage a couple of times. Okay. And for well, during one point in this, he was in the crowd fighting mm. because somebody stole his oh. microphone. Oh, great! Well, he, he was uh, <laughs> that kind of guy, I think. Yeah. Okay. Now we have some. Yeah. That's uh, when I did the uh, vocals for Crimson at Sanity. Yeah, that's it. I can't believe the cardigan I'm wearing there, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. These come from the uh, Dance Band of Gaster book, and also this one. Yeah. This one is really funny. I drew that. Funny. Oh, you drew that? Yeah, yeah. So you're the drawer. I did, yeah. Because I was wondering why, uh, who was the, the author of this yeah, book? Yeah, <laughs> Also. There was another uh, still life session uh, with you playing soccer with In Flames, I think. Yes, yeah. But this is the first album. You even have the first logo that mm -hmm. I did. Yeah. From uh, 94. <laughs> and why the, the, the potato, potato sack? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> OK. 
Okay, well, let's go on. We have these promotional pictures from the still life uh, yeah. record. That's in my flat. Very close to where you live, very close now. Yeah, it's still probably 100 meters from there. Mm -hmm. I was wondering also, uh, what is That's Which album is this? Wishbone Ash. Uh, what's it called? It's called New England. Ah. It's not a very good record. He I just see. picked it up because my records were over here. Mm -hmm. He's sitting where I'm sitting on that picture and just grabbed the record to have a look cool. Okay. Well, let's go to this screenshot. Yeah. I got yeah. a few pounds heavier there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in fact, uh, this is from the Blackwater Park here uh, yes. documentary. Yeah. I, I find this uh, a bit. Um, how do you say? When you Funny because I say I scream when I'm 40. Yeah, yeah. I'm really screaming. Yeah, so, you know, there is uh, all this, uh, you know, discussions about uh, Opeth without role or not Opeth. Um, well, so you can say the, your last words about it. Well, this it argument. Is, it's, it's, it is, it's still open. That's, that's what it says on the record. So, but people have their, their, their uh, they can have their opinions. You know. This is a different me than today. Mm -hmm. uh, many similarities with many differences. Like, but I'm saying 40 years old. I'm saying that derogatory, meaning 40 is very old. And now I'm 40 years old. Yeah, in fact. But I'm still screaming on stage like this. This is a detail uh, from uh, the 7 inch uh, of still day with the sun. Yeah. So you had the idea of uh, writing the lyrics. Uh, That's a harvest uh, lyric. Yeah. I can't remember that. Remember that actually. I didn't know that was on there. You didn't know? Maybe I did it at the time, but I forgot. I can't remember. Because you know. What's it say here? 7 inch. Uh, Green, but cons caresses. This is the release from uh, Robotic Empire. Right. The seven inch. No, that was. I can't remember if I came up with that. Mm -hmm. Let's see that. Okay. Um, this uh, this is a festival picture. Yeah. From uh, Evolution Festival 2008. Mm, remember that show. What do you remember in particular? Uh, when we played the last song, the very last record, and the sky is cracked open, it was a massive hailstorm, and the, the hail was almost like 10 yeah. spots, bigger than all of us. And um, in flames, we're supposed to play right after us. Yeah. It was thunderbolts and big storm, so they had to cancel the show. It was kind of magic, actually. Yeah. Just hit the last chord and you see thunderbolts and all this chaos started here. Yeah, exactly. It happened before. So we play, we invoke the rain. Mm. <laughs> or in this case, hell. Okay. I remember we were in these booths backstage and we couldn't go out because of these heats were so big. Mm. And we were joking with the flames, of course. We didn't play the sabotage. Yeah. That's you. Very young. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes, well, this is me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> almost unrecognizable. Uh, that would be around uh, Deliverance? Uh, yeah. This is from the show at uh, Transylvania 2003. Right. With the uh, graves in the wall. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You wrote also The Devil is My Shepherd on that. Uh, and it looks like I'm drinking uh, uh, whiskey and uh, coke mm. with a straw. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we also <laughs> have some uh, another fan picture. Yeah, that's from the, the, the Malibu. The Malibu, yes. The last one. Uh, three massive uh, open fans. Exactly. Alexander is so the biggest collector. Yayoi took care of our fan, uh, fan page in Japan. 
And you, of course. On deck. Yes. Well, I don't know exactly what to ask about this. Uh, I can ask you what do you think about those crazy people, uh, or if you had uh, sometimes problems with some uh, too many, um, well, crazy fans. Uh, not, uh, no, I wouldn't say problems. You know. I think when you meet people in person, they are easier to get along with than uh, uh, nice social media. That's one of the reasons I didn't want to do MySpace anymore because mm -hmm. so people were just ugly. You know, but, uh, I wasted my time getting shit thrown at me from people I don't even know who wouldn't even dare to tell me in face. So it's one of the reasons I closed it down. It took too much time and effort. Mm -hmm. But generally, I mean, all, all these three people he here aren't nice to me. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you very much. <laughs> I'm from the same. Uh, Day or occasion almost. Yes. What is it? Oh, here it is. Uh, Devin Townsend picture. And uh, so you told him that he inspired you for the, you know, your comedian side on stage. Yeah, yeah to a certain extent. Yeah, he did. We played with strapping young lad. And he was, um, at the time, I wasn't really saying much, you know, I was barely saying thank you, next to this, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I could, I, it made me nervous for some reason that I had to say something, even if I just said thank you. Uh, I didn't know how to communicate with the crowd. And then I saw Devin go up, and he was just so silly. But he was the same on stage, uh, off stage. Was that uh, the Dynamo Open Air in the Netherlands? I can't remember. Because I was there and uh, there were a uh, strapping young lad and then open. In, yeah, maybe in one of the tents. We did a, a festival tour with them. Mm -hmm. okay. I think it was Sounds of the Underground in America, North America, uh, with strapping. So we, we, I mean, that's when I got to know them and we became pretty good friends actually. And hang out, uh, hang out with my dogs. And I saw him on stage, and he did some terribly funny things. He wasn't afraid of making a fool of himself. He turned the silly things into something admirable, if you know what I mean. There was one point I remember. He's like, he, he finished the song and he's going, going back to get some water. It's just nothing. It's stupid. He went back to the drum rise to get some water, and there was no water. And he was like, and the crowd could see that he. Couldn't find water, so we went back up to the nice line. I didn't want any fucking water, anyways. You know, you turn it into something <laughs> stupid, funny, you know. And it's like, okay, yeah, maybe I can just, you know, be uh, more like I am. Mm. Even if it's boosted when I'm on stage, you know, it's not like I crack jokes all the time. So, do you remember this? Uh, rehearsal tape? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember rehearsal tapes, but we never did. With, uh, I think these are uh, like stickers. The, yeah. On the I didn't make stickers, maybe David did. Mm. But David wasn't in the band when we did those songs. Yeah. These are done after this would be uh, 92, maybe 91, 92. Maybe 93, 93, because that song was the last song I wrote for the first record, so it would be 93, that tape, okay. I think. But we, we did, I did, uh, we did, recorded a lot of rehearsal tapes, and I still have all of those tapes. And then I made copies and sent out to magazines and stuff like that, because we didn't have a demo. The special this, I, I got, uh, well, I didn't listen to the tape, but the guy who sent me the scan is uh, Mauro Berki. Yeah, I remember, remember him. him? Uh, he had this magazine. There's also the interview of the book. Right. Uh, the Necrotomy fancy. Right. Yeah, I remember his name. I think we thanked him on the first record. On the first record, yes. Yeah. Along with uh, Stefano Longhi yeah, yeah. and Mammarella. Yep. And we got some uh, some great feedback from him. There was a lot of fanzines in, in Italy at the time. And our first feature was with uh, Stefano and uh, Roberto's yeah. magazine. So not and it's magazine. there also. Yeah. So maybe. 
Have you ever seen those interviews? Well, that one I saw. Mm -hmm. That was our first appearance in the magazine. But it was a picture. The picture was not of Opeth, actually. It was David, but it's not Opeth. It's a uh, appropriation. But that's an appropriation. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, which had Christopher from Therion on drums mm -hmm. and the guitar player from Therion. Peter played guitar. And they didn't have a bass player. So the picture is not Opeth, even if it's David Zing. Ah, I didn't know that. But the review is for one of our first. Rehearsal tapes. 